Noddy, Noddy, the little man with the red and yellow car. Noddy, Noddy, his tinkling bell means he's the happiest little fellow in all Toyland. There's Biggies and Tubby and Mr. Plot and all his special friends. It's sixpence an adventure, then he'll take you home again. Noddy, Noddy, Noddy. Noddy. It was a hurrying afternoon in Toyland. Noddy was polishing his car as fast as he could. Oh, shine, little car. Shine. I'm in such a hurry. Ooh, you look busy, Noddy. I'm in a hurry, Mr. Tubby. I have to take Mr. Jumbo to the railway station. I meant to throw this rope away, but... Perhaps you might like a rope, Noddy, for your car. You could tow things with it. Oh, my! Thank you, Mr. Tubby. I'm sure it would be very useful to have a rope. Mr. Jumbo, are you ready to go to the station? Oh, must we go already? I'm having lunch. Oh, well, no time for pudding. Oh, my poor little car. You seem to have eaten a lot of ice cream today, Mr. Jumbo. I can't shut this car door of yours. Oh, what a worry. I expect I shall fall out. Don't be upset, Mr. Jumbo. I can tie you into my car with this useful rope. Um, I blame that cafe. <laughs> they gave me far too many ice creams. All aboard! All aboard! Where are you going this afternoon, Mr. Jumbo? Uh, to the seaside to meet my brother. <laughs> I shall be returning on the evening train. Kindly be here to take me home. Yes, I will. Noddy. Oh, Noddy, I'm glad to see you. Hello, Dino Doll. Do you want me to take you to town? Well, yes, please. I've got this huge crate full of books to sell on my store, and it's so heavy. Hmm. What we need is something to tie round the crate to drag it to my car. Noddy, you've got a rope. Have I? Goodness me, that's lucky. I knew this would be a useful rope. Well, 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 Tessie Bell. How good of you to help Dinah doll on her stall. We're nearly there. Keep pushing, Dinah. Oh, my, oh, my. What's this? It's a huge uh, crate of books, Mr. Wobbly Man. There. Thank you so much, Noddy. And thank you, Tessie, for looking after my stall. Excuse me. I don't wish to be any trouble. But I do appear to be stuck between this huge crate and the diner doll's stall. Poor Mr. Wobbly Man. He can't move. We need a rope to pull him out. I've got a useful rope, Tessie. Help me tie it around Mr. Wobbly Man. Noddy, I don't think we should jerk Mr. Wobbly Man about on a rope. We're not going to jerk him about, Dinah. My car's going to jerk him about. Might I make a request, Noddy? Uh, kindly don't jerk too much, or I may never stop wobbling again. Please don't worry. I shall make the engine of my car go at top speed so that it will give you one really big jerk oh. and out you'll come. Noddy, be careful! Good luck, Noddy! Thank you, Noddy! Well done, Noddy! Would you like to have tea and strawberries at my house? Yes, please, Tessie. I do need a rest. This evening, I have to fetch Mr. Jumbo from the station. 
Oh, thank you for bringing me home, Noddy. Now, I should like you to help me unload my luggage. I always help my passengers unload, Mr. Jumbo. Goodness me, there's no more luggage. And there's no more car either. Car, where are you? <laughs> oh, no. I didn't put the brake on properly. <laughs> You should tie your car to this lamp post. I will. I'll use my useful rope. There. That'll keep it quite still while we take up the rest of your bags. Oh, thank you, Noddy. I shall give you three sixpences. Two for the use of your car. One for the use of your rope. Oh, thank you. Three sixpences. I am lucky. Oh, one moment, Noddy. Noddy! What in the world was that horrid noise? Somebody's after me. I must drive to the police station and tell Mr. Plot. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. What do you think you're doing, towing lampposts along at night? <gasps> Gracious! That looks like the lamppost from outside Mr. Jumbo's house. Mm, it's tied to your car. How can a lamppost possibly have tied itself to your car? Well, you see, Mr. Plod, I took Mr. Jumbo and his luggage home and something went wrong with my car and it started to run away and so I got my useful rope. And you tied your car to the nearest lamppost, did you? What a very peculiar story, Noddy. <coughs> I'm afraid you'll have to take me to Mr Jumbo's house so I can ask him if any of this is true. Uh, sorry to bother you at this late hour, Mr Jumbo. Oh, always ready to help the police force. Mr. Plod, I'm given to believe by young Noddy here that the reason he has a lamppost attached to the rear of his car is that whilst he helped you unload your luggage, he tied said car to said lamppost in order to prevent said car from rolling away. I did, yes, with said useful rope. Uh, one moment. <clears throat> is this tale true, Mr. Jumbo? It is, Mr. Plod. That is why I felt it my duty to stand here with my torch uh, to replace the lamp post until help arrived. Very good of you. Thank you, Mr. Jumbo. Noddy, your story is confirmed. You may drive me back to the police station. Thank you, Mr. Plod. Thank you, Mr. Jumbo. Good night. <laughs> Mr. Plod, you've forgotten to leave the lamp post. Oh, I suppose I shall have to stand here all night. I dare say no one will notice me. I shall probably have to stand here day after day, night after night, week after week, month after month, year after year. Noddy, you still haven't untied that lamp post. But you never reminded me, Mr. Plod. Oh, bother. That means I shan't be able to tell you off. Yes, I know. It really is a very useful rope. <laughs> Noddy, Noddy, the little man with the red and yellow car. Noddy, Noddy. his tinkling bell means he's the happiest little fellow in all. There's Biggies and Tubby and Mr. Plot and all his special friends. It's sixpence an adventure and he'll take you home again. And now it's time for Noddy to wave and say goodbye. He's tired and sleepy and nodding his head. He's ready to curl himself up in bed and see what tomorrow brings. For Noddy, Noddy, Noddy.
Jesus.